Institute of Tropical Medicine in Antwerp for all the support and mentorship they have provided us so that we are here today. Uh, right now we are going to debut a new style of presentation on this plenary stage. This is Pecha Kucha, which I understand means chit chat in Japanese. Six, uh, 20 slides will aut automatically advance every 20 seconds. So you don't have to worry about us go setting our time. <laughs> Uh, three weeks ago, 52 of us emerging voices started a journey from 29 low- and middle-income countries. We come from a diversity of backgrounds and institutions, which are often in stark contrast to our final destination, which is in Monroe. In many ways, we felt like little mice, which were journeying into the belly of a large toad. <laughs> this was our first global conference, and we approached it with some trepidation. But we also knew that such global conferences are the birthplace of great ideas. 32 years after Alma Atta, we emerging voices would like to reaffirm our belief in its core values and principles. We believe in health for all. We believe that every citizen in our country has a right to health and needs access to universal health care. We come to this conference uh, with wisdom. Wisdom from the, our lived experience, working and studying in the countries which are actually at the focus of this symposium. And we also come with energy and enthusiasm uh, to affect these health systems in a positive way. This is a really exciting time to be a health researcher. And we feel privileged that at the start of our research careers, we have been exposed to exciting new ideas, paradigms and methodologies, which are going to help us Future in the future to better understand the complexity of these systems, uh, to provide good research which is translated into good policy and good practice. Uh, and but often research is an end to itself. This is something we are very concerned about. But we firmly believe that collectively we can slay the dragons of irrelevance and con and collusion. Uh, now over to Aida. Research should not be based on only frameworks, but should have a strong link with the field, with local researchers who know the context and will still be there to interact with policymakers. Research should be equal, whether from north or the south. We should all have the same access to finding, dig up information, and publish our findings. In reality, this is not the case. We still experience too many barriers. For example, English is now the dominant language in the global health research, excluding many of us who are not native English speakers. De la Chine en Colombie, du Maroc au Mozambique, nous nous sentons tous un peu gauche quand il s'agit de communiquer avec nos pères ou avec nos aînés. Vous pouvez juste m'écouter pour le comprendre. Our policymakers do not generally rely on research, but when they do, we better come up with useful solutions. However, research institutions in our countries are few and too weak to tackle challenges unless we get help from more experienced partner institutions. Over the past few days, we felt that participants still came predominantly from north, in spite of all the lofty aims. Most of our senior researchers and peers were absent, as if they are not in the loop. Are we really discussing about universal health coverage, or is it just a fancy gathering of scientists? What will be the outcomes? Will it change something for the people on the ground, what happened to the spirit of Almata, I'm asking to you. We don't want to be only critical. We are well aware that there are rules in the research world, just like anywhere else. And that leaves us with one of two choices. Either things remain as they are, or we change the rules. In this regard, this conference has opened a window for opportunity regarding these rules. 
There seems to be more commitment to dialogue rather than monologue, to equal partnerships rather than unequal agreements. We hope that these signs of positive change continue. <laughs> that capacity building of all individuals <laughs> and institutions within our cities will be accelerated. <laughs> this capacity building should be an integral part of health system strengthening. After all, we need to remember that building capacity is an investment, not a cost. And as we build capacity, we also hope that investment will be made into the future of research. That young researchers like ourselves will get more opportunities and more mentoring. This may level the playing field which is currently skewed towards the north. Furthermore, we need barriers to come down. In the south, this means more access to information and research finding for people involved in all aspects of health. And that big global conferences such as these cater for more languages and become truly global. In this way, we can be begin to build a new culture in health system research. A culture of inclusivity, equal and active participation by all those involved. In the South, hopefully these efforts will result in a culture of local research. Local research, done by local researchers, to inform local policy and practice using local funds. This is not to say that collaborative with global research isn't important. However, we also believe in bridging the poor so that the balance between the North and the South is achieved and that research is done for the benefit of all. A lot of important things have been said in the last few days. Allow me to add a few more in conclusion. As emerging voices from the South, we are saying, the world needs to achieve universal health coverage. That is unequivocal. And that the South must set its own agenda. Thank you.